Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to use SSIS parameters in SSIS package. So the SSIS parameters also called as project parameters. So you will see that. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to use the SSIS parameters. So let's jump to the demo. I have created a very basic SSIS package. So I have created a project and in the project I have two packages. The first package is the load email data and the second package is the load product data okay so in the load email data what i'm doing here that i'm checking that if email table exists then drop the email table and then recreate the email table on a sql server database so i am using a connection here the connection is pointing to the sql server 2019 instance to the training database and if you see the training database right now so we don't have any tables so when the ssis package will run it will create a email table and then using the data flow task we will actually import the data from a csv file flat file and the flat file will actually point to the email csv file so it will load the de files emails.csv file into the sql server table email so this is the file that will be loaded and this file contains 1000 records okay so this is the package so let me start executing the package and it should import the 1000 records into the training database so this is working fine it has loaded the data and i can now refresh the table and i should see a email table here and if you check the data now from the email table then it should contain the 1000 records so you can see that it contains the 1000 records so this is good and maybe i can just truncate this table so that uh, this table can be reloaded okay so i can just truncate this one and now the table should be empty so this is fine so now we want to use the SSIS parameters or you can say the project parameters. So what is the benefit of using the project parameters and why can't for example we use some other methods as well. If you want to pass the input values to the SSIS packages outside of the SSIS packages then there are few methods. So before the SQL Server 2012 version especially in the SQL Server 2005 and SQL Server 2008 R2 we were using the package deployment model at that time there was no project deployment model there was only one model which was package deployment model and in the package deployment model if you need to pass the values to the SSIS packages outside of the package then you can use some configuration like XML configuration and the SQL server configuration and like parent package configuration there are some different kind of configurations were there but now from the SQL server 2012 onward there came a new deployment model which is called as project deployment model and now in the current versions the default model is the project deployment model so in the project deployment model you can just deploy the whole project to the SSIS catalog and now in the SSIS catalog you can pass the value using the project parameters to the SSIS package so the project parameters can get the values outside of the package and th those values can be used inside the package the another property of the project parameter is that you cannot change the value of the project parameter inside the SSIS package. If you are using the SSIS variable, then you can change the value of the SSIS variable at any time in the SSIS package, but project parameter value cannot be changed. The second thing is that the project parameter that you will create, it will be stored outside of the package. It will be stored in the SSIS project and that project parameter can be used across all the SSIS packages inside that project. So if you see here, there is an option project.params so you need to define the project parameters here and then those parameters can be used inside the SSIS packages. So let me create two parameters here and I will call the first parameter as server name and I can give the data type as a string and I can provide the initial value to the value of SQL Server 2019 instance. Okay. And now let me declare another variable and let me call it as database name and the data type will be a string and the database name is training okay so these are the two project parameters now let me open the e load email data package and now i want to make the this connection dynamic so as of now the connection is hard coded and you can't see any fx sign before this connection manager so to make the connection dynamic either you can get the dynamic values from the ssis variable or you can get the dynamic values from the ssis project parameters so I will get the values from the project parameters so I can right click on it and go to the properties and you can click on the expressions and inside the property there is a property server name. So you can select the server name property and from expression you can get the value of the server name from the server name project parameter. So you can see a project here 
so it means that this is the project parameter now you can click on ok now to make the database name dynamic we can select the initial catalog property and we can assign the value from the database name project parameter so we can click on ok ok so now this connection manager is dynamic and you can see an fx sign just before the connection manager so we are good here now we want to deploy this project to the SSIS catalog so we can right click on the project name and we can click on deploy and we can click next this is the project deployment wizard and uh, yeah we will deploy in the SSIS and SQL server so now we need to provide the SQL server instance name here to which we want to deploy the project to so this is my SQL server instance name and now we can click connect we can browse here so we can create a new folder to, so that we can deploy the project to so we can deploy the project and we can maybe create the new folder with the name as SSIS parameters ok and then I can click on ok so the folder got created I can click on ok next deploy so now this will deploy the whole project to the SSIS catalog and you can see both the packages there so the deployment is successful I can click on close and I can go to the SSMS and if I come here so if I refresh the SSIS DB database so if you expand this one so you can see the folder SSIS parameters and now inside this folder inside the projects I can see the project here how to use the SSIS parameter so this is my project name ok and now if I expand this one and if I expand packages so I can see both the packages here like load email data and load product data ok so for example if I want to execute this package load email data so I can click on execute and I should be able to execute it from there so now you can see I can see both the parameters here the first parameter is the server name another parameter name is the database name so right now it is connecting to this instance SQL Server 2019 instance and suppose if you want to import the data to another server so you can just provide the server name there so my another server name is 2017 instance so I can click on ok and I want to import the data to another database and my another database name is test database so I can click on ok now let me just uh, show you that I have the SQL Server 2017 instance and then I have the test database and right now let me see if I have any email table or not onto that database and then we'll see so right now okay so I can remove the database name from here yeah so I have an email table on the SQL Server 2017 instance on the test database but that table is empty as of now okay so let me execute the SSIS package from here so it ran fine and it is saying would you like to overview the report so if I click yes so it is showing the data so you can see that the package ran fine it has actually ran the package and uh, initially it ran like create email table and then data flow task so you can see both the task here and now if you want to check the data now so you should have 1000 records so now you can see 1000 records have been loaded so we were able to pass the value of the project parameters server name and database name from the SSIS catalog using this method and there is one more method to execute the packages so if you right click and click on execute and uh, it should op open the pop up here ok and now if you click on the script here and click cancel so this will show you the script you know this will generate the SQL script so you can execute this script from here and then this can execute the SSIS package now suppose if you want to pass the different parameter values to this script then what you can do you can actually close it and let me go back here click on execute and now here we can change the parameter values so I can pass the 2017 here and then I can pass the test database name here ok and then we can click on the script so now I can cancel it so now you can see that if you come here so we are passing the values to the server name and database name ok and these are the values like this is for the database name and this is for the server name so now you can actually use this particular query inside the stored procedure to execute the SSIS packages and you can also use the same query inside a SQL server agent job and the package will run against this particular server and against this particular database so I think that's it for the project parameters for now thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video thank you so much